came to the people of Sumeria and gave them vast knowledge, agriculture, mathematics, art, healing, and more. Eventually, this tale okay. was remembered in the Bible of the Christians as Jonah, who was swallowed by the whale, okay. a large fish. Okay. Sure. And then what? In the Bible, Jonah is special to the heavenly God. He is a prophet or speaker on his behalf. Okay. He is sent on a mission to pass on God's knowledge to the people. It is only by being launched from the mouth of a giant fish and landing safely on shore that Jonah could get the stupid people to listen to him. <coughs> the stupid people! Apparently, it's perfectly okay to believe that all of this is true, and yet ridiculous to believe that this is a folk memory of a very real, special, intellectual being trying to get humans to learn. You heard it here first, folks. Jonah and the whale the image of Jonah was aliens. From the mouth of the giant fish is in fact no different to the images of Oannes or half man, <gasps> half fish being. It is an alien creature sent by the alien gods to impart knowledge. Well, there you have it. Many ancient deities are aliens and part.